Hello, my name is Richard, and I'm so glad that you're with me today. And really what I want to cover is how to get out of debt. I've been in debt, folks. I was $85,000 in debt after my divorce. I had three credit cards, and basically I made some wrong choices. I had to pay off my ex-wife's attorney fees. I had to pay for all the fees for the divorce to be and that could just cost me money. So I wasn't able to pay everything up front, so I had to get it financed, and I got it done the easiest way possible, which was credit cards. Well, credit cards have a double-edged sword. They can work for you or against you, so you must decide. So when I got in debt, I did not like the struggle that I was going through, the pressure it was causing me, the stress it was causing me, having to work to make, and when I was not able to work, the str more stress that it caused me. So I finally figured out I want to get out of debt. So what I did was one, I got a side gig, and then I just started taking all my money from that side gig. I started with the smallest debt I had. I paid off the first credit card, then I paid off the next credit card, and then I paid off the next credit card. I did it all. And when I did, it was like, oh, freedom at last. But, but, there's a big but in it. Whatever habit got you into that debt will recreate itself if you don't know the reason why you got into that debt. And what I finally figured out, if you heard me earlier, I made some dumb mistakes. And one was spending money I did not have. Now, how can you prevent this? So this is what I did, okay? And it worked for me, and I think it will work for you. You have to realize what do you value? Because we spend our money on what we value. And if it doesn't add value to you, you need to decide, okay, 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 why am I spending this money? Okay, so that will really help you is ask yourself before you spend, do I really need this now? Can it wait till I have the money? And also start a savings account so that when it, their emergencies come up, after you pay off your credit cards, start saving all that money you were paying the credit card company. And it took me about three years and I finally dunked it. I mean, I, I'm a trader, I'm an investor, and I made a lot of money in the stock market. And I took the ex money and I just paid it off one day. And I said, why am I living in this prison? And it's like a debt is like a prison. It makes you a slave to the system. So why not better yourself by saying, okay, instead of buying that new car, okay, I'm going to buy that 2001 truck. I'm going to drive that till it falls apart, till I can't drive it anymore. And I'm going to take all that money I was going to make on that car payment and just use it for other things. So to build wealth, you have to start accumulating it, stacking it. And the more you save, the more you have. It's not like the more you spend, the more goods you have. And why do all these people have these storage units? They have a three bedroom home, a garage, and they have storage units. Why? Because they bought excess junk that they don't need. Are you one of those people? If so, change your habit, change your life, be rich, okay? So I hope this helps you. Just do it. Just do what it takes. And also, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.